Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, and we're in the world-famous Sipping Den. Yeah. <clears throat> Down here, I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol. And I do a world-famous Sunday morning coffee review. And I do all kinds of everything that has anything to do with coffee. Best way to find out what I do on this channel is to go to the playlist where I have everything categorized and subcategorized in such a way that it is amazing, it is interesting, it is easy to navigate. It is a work of beauty. That I promise you. Check it out. I dare you. Um, every comment, well, uh, every video, I have a pinned comment, right? It's going to be the first one. And why is it pinned? Because it always has a link to the playlist that pertains to the one I'm reviewing. And in this case, if you hit that, all the bourbons I've reviewed will come up. And today's, including today's, Boone County Distilling Company, Cast Strength Toasted Finish. Toasted Cast Strength, straight bourbon whiskey, finished in toasted casks. And who gave me this? Who gave this to the channel? VIP. You all know him. I've said his name a thousand times because a thousand times he supported the channel. It's Eric Toller. Round of applause now. Thank you. All right. What's the scoop with Boone County? This actually started according, but it is born in 1833. See, take a look at the bottle. Take a look at the color of the whiskey in the bottle, right? Let it all soak in. Let it, it's embossed. Right? It goes down. Um, resurrected again. In uh, 2015, and this came out, the Toasted, in 2023. What's the proof on this? It is 58.4% alcohol by volume, which would put it about 116.8 proof. They use a pot still mes method, 500-gallon pot still. And they run it through there, each time taking off the heads, the part that isn't that good, three times. Right? Is it three times? Uh, I think it's three times. Four times. <laughs> and then they put it in a column still. And they get the hearts. Right? They get the best part, the most tasty part. Um, it's 74% corn, 12% rye, 5% malted barley. That is the recipe, i.e. the mash bill. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, they do a, um, a sour mash. Sour mash and their sweet mash has nothing to do with sour and sweet. Sweet mash just means every time you do a batch, you start from scratch. Sour mash, much like sour bread, sour dough, which is sour, but it's it's taking the yeast from an old batch and adding it to the new batch to jump start the fermentation process and get a little more consistency. That's all it means different yeast, so this wouldn't be sour. Sour mash, or sour uh, bread, uses sour dough, uses a uh, yeast that produces sour, just like sour beer. But this has nothing to do, I guess the bottom line is, get the word sour out of your head if you're thinking of taste. Anyway, let's get into it, let's taste it. Yeah, that's what you're all waiting for, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, so, so you know, um, toast it in most cases. Uh, means doing all the rules for bourbon, one of which is putting it in a brand new oak charred barrel. It's a container, but the law says, but putting it in the barrel. And then when it's done, you take another barrel, but instead of charring it and putting another flame through, which if you did that and put it in, it would be called double oak, you simply toast it, you bake it, you heat it. You don't put the flame through. So you sweat out the sugars, you sweat out the vanillas, and then you add the bourbon from the first part. If you were to toast it again, right, you would be caramelizing those sugars and adding. And if you don't do it at all, that's the normal way to do it. Everybody has their preference. So that's what toasted is. And that's what double oaked is. All right. Thank you, Eric. The man. The man. Color in the glass. And Eric said, not to influence you, but 
this tells you how much I like it. <laughs> so, all right. A cherry cola sweetness, a little bit of honey, underlying grain, a grain mash. Hey, if you've ever been to a distillery, of course I worked on one. The smell of those fermentation rooms, right? With that mash cooking in the fermentation. And this is what it reminds me of only. This is finished, right? This has the toast, the char, the sugar, the sweetness. The grains melded to perfection, blended. That's what I'm getting. Kind of a cherry cola, kind of. Definitely honey. Sweetness is honey, the smell. It's a lot of things that can make things sweet. In this case, it's like smelling some delicious honey. Um, let's get into it. I'm excited. Gonna do an acclamation sip first. You're excited. That is worth the few seconds you gotta wait. Because now I've got the burn out of the way. And I'm gonna get all the flavor. And that, my friends, is what a correct acclimation sip will do. And I ignore any taste or anything I'm getting. Because now is what I'm gonna concentrate on. Maybe even a third sip. No cherry coke. I smelled it, but I'm not tasting it. I am getting a nice honey. Not sugar, not artificial sweetener. Honey. And I like honey. I'm getting some wood. <sighs> Oak, now I've tasted it and acclimated and it's been sitting. It's shining through more than it was. Two barrels getting the oak. And that graininess, which sometimes, not always, sometimes denotes youngness, is not there either. It's honey. It's oak. It's a kiss of vanilla. And let me just say, I've had people that had 10-year-old whiskey. So this tastes young, okay? Be careful when you want to proclaim things, because then you look, I don't know, going 10-year-old whiskey. Bourbon? Young. Whatever. Ah. <sighs> There's a slight buttered to the nose corn now. Buttered corn's probably more indicative than cherry cola. The cherry cola could come through. I'm not getting that now. That kind of went away with the wind. Oak, honey, buttered corn. And a slight hint of vanilla. So it is pleasing. I'm going to take a little more Eric's whiskey, and I'm going to put some water on it. So Eric, of course, is a friend of mine, not just a friend of the channel. I consider him a friend. And uh, so, shout out to Eric again and again and again. All right, put a little water in. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got going on now. Huh. Oh. Oh. 
really like sticking my nose in a honey jar. That has been aged in oak. And they do use honey in the age of oak. And then a lot of times they'll put the bourbon in that barrel if they didn't uh, let the honey out. That is good. That's what it smells like. Because I'm smelling the oak. And I'm smelling the honey. More prominent than anything. And yeah, a little sweet grain. Sweet. Let me see. Hominy grits with honey and butter melted on top. Oh, come on. Yeah, all right. Well, let's uh, drink a breakfast here. Well, water did open it up. Molecules bonded, letting out aroma and some flavors. Um, kind of tastes like a little bit of grits with melted butter and honey that has been aged in a barrel. And a couple dashes of vanilla extract. How about that? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. There she is. Um, take a good look at it. Um, yeah, nothing much to read on the back that I haven't already told you about. Anywho, very good. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to sub. And I'll see you on the next one. Got another donation over there I'm looking at. Going to want to see that one too. That I promise you. Don't forget the playlist. It's not for me. It's for you. And I'll see you on the next one.